Okay. All right, so we're going to start um, now. This particular class is uh, ended through a generous grant from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. And this is, uh, that has a production company called Tango Pay. But they made many amazing um, videos. Uh, there is something called My Garden of the Southern Bees. Uh, available on PBS if you want to watch also. And this is the funding to, for the Plant Wildflowers Initiative that Biker Library is participating. And we are scheduling this very, very uh, unique class to celebrate Earth Day, which was yesterday, with Henry. So here's Henry. Okay, thank you, Yona. Let me see. Uh, let me watch my... Uh Zoom, sorry. There's a delay on YouTube. Okay, here. Here we go. Can you see my Hanout area? Okay. This is uh, uh, the introduction of a new series, as you uh, introduced. Uh, we'll have uh, uh, eight classes following at this short one. So in this class, we'll learn uh, how to do repeated uh, wallpaper um, or Chinese style, Shino uh, Wazuri style wallpaper. Um, the theme is Earth Day. Um, that was actually yesterday, right? Uh, we had a conflict uh, scheduled, uh, so uh, we postponed uh, one day to, to the weekend today. Um, Incidentally, uh, yesterday we, we, we went to Hollywood, a uh, studio in Hollywood, and we uh, videotaped a uh, uh, TV commercial. It's kind of a uh, uh, uh with calligraphy and uh, Chinese uh, seal engraving art. I was going to do the painting, but uh, they eventually uh, changed mind. So um, it's uh, also... Uh, uh, coincidentally, we uh, met a professor. She is uh, interested in the field of uh, Shinawasari study, and we had uh, some good um, conversation. And uh, she also suggested that uh, uh, the background image that I'm uh, using is uh, the Chinese uh, China Theater in Hollywood. Um, that was a, a landmark in LA which is uh, inspired by the Shinawasari idea. Um, this is the initial drawing of the architect, a presentation drawing in 1970s, uh, 27, sorry, that's what, 95 years ago. Um, so this whole uh, style uh, started in 18th and uh, uh, 17th and 18th century in Europe. Uh, and uh, it's revived today in all um, aspects of uh, art uh, and the design world. So um, the idea is that um, we're turning into a new age of uh, uh, art, I think. We call it Mexism. Uh, with this uh, uh, simplicity, uh, we, we try, you know, the simplism, right? We, we tend to uh, make things uh, more filled up. Um, so <coughs> I'm going to uh, show you the process of creating the, the pattern. So if you um, have a chance to look at uh, my uh, handout, you see some steps. I'm going to follow step by step. So to just uh, uh, go through the process and then uh, we will, let me see. We'll paint. We'll paint it. We'll paint one, but uh, in color maybe. Let's see. I cannot see. Okay. Here we go. So this is a. I I didn't have the color copy. This is supposed to be a color, which is this one. So it's uh, uh, the first. The step one will do. Okay. Um, I will use. Uh, let me see. I. I can use uh, computer paper, or uh, to make it uh, easier, I may just use some cards uh, to start with. 
and you can use uh, computer paper. Uh, so the initial, the first step one is to draw this on a, on a uh, piece of computer paper. You don't have to um, draw a square. Uh, rectangular is fine. Um, you should not touch any edge. That's the, the general rule of uh, sound uh, in this step. So why I'm doing this, uh, you can follow step one. Okay. If you have a four sheet of a uh, paper, you you can uh, you can go ahead and start drawing. But uh, I I'm going to do a, a a new game of cards. So I I found some index card in my drawer. So I'm going to use this instead of cutting the paper. Later, I I already cut it supposedly, so you can um, see what uh, this this game is. Okay, it's a in very interesting process. It's old-fashioned. You can the, these days they don't do this. They use computers, but uh, we try to do this. If you use tape, you you can. Um, Put on you know, you know your cloth, your your clothing or uh, like a felt, uh, or just on your on your skin somehow to, to move to remove some tackiness you know so it's not uh, too sticky so it's easier to remove and you can reuse it I I I, I think so. So I'm trying to match this. This is supposed to be on the back side of the computer paper or, or you know any any uh, art paper would do. So I try to match the the seam line very closely with, with the, with, without any gap. It's kind of hard, but. Uh, let me see. That's a little bit off. Maybe that's okay because uh, we just illustrated the, the general idea. Don't have you know some a little gap is is uh, inevitable, and on the computer we can easily correct that just to blur it up, you know, uh, or offset a little bit, you know. It, I know you guys are not computer savvy, so I'm not going to use computer. I just show you the old-fashioned way. And instead, of, so since we already missed some time uh, with the, the uh, schedule, so I'm going to just use uh, a blue ink uh, or color, watercolor, without uh, uh, going through the the pencil. But you can do the pencil uh, at first if you're not uh, comfortable with that. I'm using this. Uh, Ultramarine, ultramarine. You can mix a little bit of cobalt if you want to, uh, or other blue. You know, just make it close to the sh the typical uh, chinoiserie porcelain glaze in the blue white. You can make a pull for that. Just uh, a puddle of this. The Indigo might be also a good color if you want to use, and you can use a little bit uh, cello if you want to mix with that. This is cello, so I just mix all the blues just to make it uh, a little um, saturated. Okay, let's see, and you can you can start from the middle middle tone, not too light, not, not too dark. Okay, so <laughs> what, I, uh, what I'm what i doing is to draw, uh, you know, just like a paint, just do a painting, very organic, but, you know, not geometric, not uh, like a, a triangular or a round or this kind of thing, not uh, symmetrical. So I don't put the things in the middle, right? So because I have the cut, that's uh, very helpful. So I'm going to draw. Uh, let's just do the the flowers first. <coughs> okay. So we 
So we just draw this flower, uh, six petals, right? Um, roughly this area. So and uh, we can use a little darker. Wild wild flowers doesn't have to to have a name. So just draw that, and then uh, I do a branch of uh, uh, there are only if you look at uh, if you count the elements there are only very few okay uh, so if we count this flower number one element and then the number two element is this uh, uh, this leafy branch I think it's a kind, kind of like a, a uh, rosemary <laughs> not really huh uh, or lavender kind of. You can draw the center vein if you want, just uh, like that, and try to make it uh, like a S shape, a little bit wavy, not not just too straight. Everything should be organic, and uh, you know, just copy my my uh, design. You can you can draw a a um, center line with a light pencil. If you if you feel more um, comfortable to, to have, so it's very important uh, later that we will do the pencil uh, template because uh, in Shinovazari painting it's like a Gombi style painting. You must have a template either you know from some, uh, someone else. I can provide uh, like I provided. Uh, you can just trace it. Or you develop develop your own, but you have you must have it. Uh, you have to have a plan of design, not uh, just a freehand drawing like this. <laughs> but this this is uh, um, because I've done this many many times. See, this is a color version on silk, and I also have uh, the black white version in the handout. You know. It's on a small piece of uh, my, my first test actually on a small piece of uh, mobile paper. So that's uh, because I've done so many times. Uh, I I can memorize the the, the idea. Um, now I'm doing the third element. Uh, this is like uh, what we call uh, lavender or some kind of uh, wild. Flower with a long um, stalk of uh, spark. So, th and then uh, you have this. We patternize the flower on top, a tiny blue uh, flower, but this is relatively dark. Could be, uh, I was, yeah, in, in color, it, it's a little bit lavender. So that's why I call it as a lavender. But a uh, blue and white shinwasari painting, we just use blue for everything. This is a darker tone. Okay, it's like a, a wheat or something like that. But it's only uh, one stroke and, uh, for, we, we don't do the middle one. Just leave that, to, uh, it's a, it's like patternized. Uh, okay, so the fourth design. Actually, these two are the same. This this left and the and the right. If you look at carefully, there are three flowers. Uh, you can do the same kind of flower like this uh, to simplify it. We can, but you can also do it to bonus in bonus style without the outline to just vary it. I think I'm going to do the bonus style with light light blue or light ink okay this is what i do uh, you can you can see clearly the stem from here to here it's it's one unit and this is just repeating um the it's overlapping a little bit make it more complicated and what we can do maybe we, we can we can do the front first or the, the back first i think it's probably the back first so let's do this uh, three uh, 
two two branches of uh, two stocks of the flower here. So this, uh, if you feel comfortable, you can draw this uh, this uh, uh, center stock first. Um, I just realized probably I did just one unit. It should be I I should take uh, use all the images, but doesn't matter. I can do more. Uh, so I'll just do something here, and then I can add something on top. But you want to make make uh, the design uh, in the middle of this this whole page without touching any edges on all the four directions. And later we'll shift the cards or the quadrants and uh, uh, to fill up more space. But at, at this point, we don't have to worry about uh, extra space. You can, you can paint almost like a Sumie or Chinese brush painting. Just to you know, think about the painting, not the, the pattern here. Actually, it's a, it's a natural way to, to, to paint. And then, uh, because the way we, we arrange the, uh, the paper or the cards, the quadrants, and uh, you will make it uh, a seamless wallpaper design, a, a tire, tile for, for the fabric, kind of. So this is my start. I actually, I, I still have chance to just do this initial idea. You know, this one actually repeat this, it's, it's become a vertical kind of. You can make it into a same, uh, start let's, let's just do that and you can see this one almost like this repeating this one here and this is the the calyx the calyx okay and the calyx for the flower <laughs> and i can use this maybe a lighter brush just for the petals okay. You can make a light uh, puddle here. Okay, like I mentioned last uh, in, in, in my last uh, fusion class, uh, bamboo. Uh, when you paint on uh, hot press paper or or uh, this is kind of computer paper, uh, you try to avoid the puddle by using two brushes. One is the, like a uh, sponge. One is uh, uh, the color brush. So this one is full of water. You can you can start like that, and then you kind of if you want to make a gradation. But if you want to make a just a smooth uh, you can just paint like a freestyle. But uh, you can use the sponge brush to take out the puddle. Okay, just to let it. Uh, if you want gradation, actually, you you can just do like uh, the end, and then you pull it or on one side. You 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 spread it with the, the clean brush or the sponge brush. Um, to to. To be organic, we don't have to come to uh, repeat this. Actually, this consider you know the same, but uh, uh, because they are on in, on this uh, in it, the base, what do you call this? Uh, uh, the the same uh, the base unit or the tile. So you don't have to really duplicate. So I just draw like a line on the left and then I pull it with clean brush to and take out take out the extra to make it smooth. It's also uh, make it dry faster. Okay. And here's uh, another one. So one, two, three. 
I don't know how many, how to adjust the, like that. And you, if the, the brush, uh, the water brush is too wet, you cannot um, really pull it, you, you cannot charge it. Uh, so um, you want to keep this brush clean and, and damp, but not thirsty. Uh, um, kind of thirsty, but not, not too um, watery, so it, it will not if, if it's too much water, there's another use. Sometimes you drop it to charge uh, the dry brush with uh, some water to smooth it, maybe. But don't, um, because this kind of paper is very vulnerable, if you, not like silk. The silk has the advantage that you can keep um, scamble or, or rubbing without uh, um, worry about breaking it. But uh, for, for this kind of paper, um, computer paper, or um, just you know, regular paper, you, you want to be very gentle. And it's also good for the, to keep the pants fresh. So just the one, one layer, after it dry, you can, you can do multiple layers to build up without uh, breaking the pa paper, sur uh, tearing the paper surface. Okay, there's actually a little uh, center that has little uh, round um, polling you know, or, or uh, stamen, that kind of thing. But uh, you can leave it if you want, just leave a little white. And this one considered back, maybe, you know, I don't have to. So if you missed it, that's okay. Uh, it should be lighter than the, the, the stalk of the flower, so it goes back. And that's very important. Okay, um, let me add a little leaves underneath it. It's uh, like, uh, yeah, I, 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 I made, I, I ignore those uh, seam lines. Uh, so you sometimes it cross two uh, quadrants. That's that's the idea actually. That's that's good. You don't want, you don't want to avoid this uh, uh, cross seam line. The, you you can you can go across those. That's actually what we want. The inner lines, not not the outer. Uh, edge okay okay now let uh, let's do another um, re repetition of this element here I think uh, we don't do this to this probably more um, like a focal point of each uh, unit so we don't repeat that but, uh, this one we have uh, uh, another group like uh, it goes uh, overlapping here. Hmm. You have to wait it to dry. Okay, let's do this one maybe. Henry. Yeah. A question is: Should we use only one color? Yes. Would uh, it be okay? Oh, so we should use only one color. Uh, right. Yeah, that's my my. Uh, because uh, I already I already did the multiple uh, color here. You can you can do multiple color, but we don't have time for me to finish multiple colors in in the class. I think uh, maybe we keep it simple. Also because this uh, university style is very typical with uh, blue and white, so we don't do the background for for this lesson. Okay, uh, it's just just a different style. You can see the. I, I can put this aside, but I, I make it monochrome. This is a, a color version. And actually, on my handout, <laughs> it's already become monochrome because I only have black white um, printer working this morning. So I couldn't get the color card. But this is the original. So. Um, the answer is optional. You, you can, uh, if you feel com more uh, comfortable, you can go with the. Uh, 
the color, the full color. Okay. So I'm thinking of uh, uh, doing a little bit different. Maybe we can. Uh, I'm going to do this line here, and then this line crossing, maybe a little bit like that, something like that. Okay, so this one goes down. So it, you you draw the center stock first, and then you add darker blue dots on top, on top of the uh, along the side like this. Uh, you can make several groups, or just do it from small to large, like a the wheat. Uh, we we call the wheat uh, flour, not wheat flour. Uh, seeds, right? Okay, this one you can go outside or maybe more subtle, just stop at this. Don't have to worry about uh, uh, the underneath. Just do the overlapping. Okay. Then we can. I'm using this small leaf vein brush. This small leaf vein brush I made of stiff hair. Okay. It's maybe a good idea to have some uh, detail brush for future uh, classes for drawing lines. Also. Okay. And let's add a little bit uh, uh, a large leaf here, maybe just uh, this is really large and here. Usually one small and one large, a pair. Okay, um, we can add a small one and. Uh, And then we make some some part really dense, right? And, uh, it's just like a regular brush painting. Uh, the difference is we we try to avoid the puddle, and later we can add another you know a larger painting. Maybe next class we'll do larger leaves for tree uh, fruit trees. Uh, at that time, we'll, we'll do more like a different shading on the leaves. You can put a center vein, just uh, not in the center though, just on the on those leaves if you want. Before, after it dries, maybe it's good because uh, you don't want to make a blur line, blurry lines. It could be very watercolor, you know, freestyle watercolor. Um, the same like the pen. So this area is very empty right now. Um, nothing on this uh, this section yet. So what we can do? Um, we can do a large birds maybe. Uh, but you, you, at this point you can you can you decide if the birds is going to cross uh, the the edge you better leave it later if you can do it within the this um, first view i call it view um, or combination of uh, positioning uh, you can you can you can do a, a whole um, element here so that, that's um, you can do a, a butterfly or bee i don't have the template so i just do the bees but I was thinking that uh, keep it simple. Um, so let me do this V here. I think I I I changed the design and became more vertical. It, it's like a, because the, the the paper itself is not square. It, it tend, tends to stretch it. So I'm going to do the. Be here now. 
for this because we, we're not using the yellow so the yellow should be um, lighter than this okay so we just use a uh, um, let's do the dark first and you can see we can just just, just draw this line the shape of a B and the the back behind the head and then a small head we don't have to do the eye or anything it, uh, there are two pairs of uh, front legs like that you can you can use reference on, uh, in the handout okay and then uh, this bumble B so only one black mark marking on the west and then there oh actually I, I should do the wing the wing actually yeah could be done first um, let's just forget about that we, we can leave it dry and then maybe use a bonus you, 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 if you draw the line you can actually there are two pairs of uh, legs one is overlapping with the the wing okay, let's uh, let's just use some some freestyle we can s to see if we, we can do it you don't without the outline it looks like flying so i just like a water drop shape water drop shape stroke for the wing okay like a, a dot in, in calligraphy and then you can add a little um, darker with a little darker like overlapping wings on, on the top of the, of the water drop just to add a line on the top leave a water what, what kind of, uh, a white water line because if you if you touch it it will become one so yes and you can use a dry brush to to take out the puddle uh, actually when you before you finish you could stop and then just uh, kind of spread with the clean brush that's an easy way to go instead of having a the puddle and then remove it um, you can start before you go, uh, touch the end the end or the edge and you spread it with a clean brush and you can use clean brush just to blur a little bit maybe the the, uh, the shady part of the, the white body just to create some uh, three-dimensional feel maybe the left side you know, a little shady okay just a, a touch of that and uh, this wing is maybe a little bit too big but that's okay I just uh, um, well, let's just stay with the bees okay no 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 birds no no butterfly make it simple <clears throat> and this one goes up towards this flower so let's do the the uh, the two wings first Let's just do the wings like that, just like a water teardrop, a teardrop stroke on on both sides. Okay, and then you can add with a little darker on top, leaving a little white line, a very narrow one. It's a little bit longer, okay. And you can spread this bottom a little bit to make it uh, into the shape of the this uh, this wing, okay. Okay. Then use the small darker brush to do. With pure pure uh, blue, which is the darkest in the in the design, and then just do the 
the head. You can squeeze out the negative shape of the wing a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. You can use little uh, bars instead of just draw the mark marking. You can make it hairy by using a lot of vertical lines. Okay, for this for the horizontal. Okay, just uh, draw a, t a tail kind of. Okay, and then the the uh, <coughs> there's a little leg going back first, and then uh, going out, and there's little feet. Okay, you can go from the feet, and then the that antenna, antenna, and then the two hairs, actually you just do one visible, another is uh, overlapping with the wing, like the, almost like the bottom line of that wing, it's another leg. Okay, and uh, let's uh, vary this top one a little bit. Um, what I do is I paint a shape like a French uh, pastry uh, croissant, right? Uh, let's do just just put it inside there. Don't have to facing a flower, facing this flower behind maybe. So you draw like a, a curved. So this is side view, like that. Instead of uh, uh, you can just do the the bottom line and then use a clean brush to spread it out. So you can add a little bit of gradation, would be good. Or you can use a dry clean brush to to sponge it like that. And you have to wait it dry if you start from light before you do the strut. The, the stripe, the marking. Okay, uh, then you do just the upper wing side view. Teardrop up like that. Okay, and then um, add another line. And then Extend it a little bit. You can add a little sh uh, shading, sh shading, and you can do another one behind like that. It could be a little darker, darker against light, or the light against dark. A little bit variation would be good. Well, you can go just you know freestyle if you want. It doesn't matter, but I want to make it uh, more like a pattern. So this is the side view of the the head. Okay, then um, the back. Something like that, and then the the leg is like a, this. Two hairs. Another one on the other side. You, do, you only need to do to suggest one, maybe. And you can make a antenna there. Connect the neck with the okay with the the head. Okay. Now um, the bumble marking. Just uh, notice that the 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 um, difference. Uh, it's not parallel, so this uh, getting narrower on the bottom, on the on the lower part, and so it indicates that that uh, that the bread uh, croissant shape. You can, you can add a little shading on the bottom. I just keep it simple, just to do one more marking. For honeybees, you, you can do three 
small horizontal lines that I just want to keep it simple. You can lift the pens with a dry brush, I mean dry clean brush, if you want to, to make it uh, recover the Anyway, I'm not sure which wing is in the front, which is back now. I switched it. That's that's okay, I think. Yeah, if you keep working, it will become uh, the you will see a little uh, granny stuff uh, where they dry and uh, continue. So here I will do it in the next step. This big space, I know that. So then, before I do anything, I'll use pencil to mark the letters as uh, I suggested in step two. Okay. Uh, this is a template uh, I was trying to to uh, uh, to do in, in uh, this step. The next step is to mark A B C D. So this is A. I'm sorry. Is that A? Okay, yeah, yes. A, B. So it goes to a horizontal from left, just regular, like a reading, reading sequence. Okay, C and D. Okay. And this mark will not be uh, changed in the following steps. Okay. Um, to, to, to be safe, I'm going to try it. So just this time. <laughs> okay, now um turn I I take the Tape off this masking tape. It's on the back. Okay. And you can put it on the felt or cloth, a uh, cloth or something to remove the tackiness. It's not too sticky to, to tear the the paper, especially with rice paper. That's why I I don't use that. It it's very difficult to do with tape. So, okay. Um, so I switched A, B, and the C, D, um, left and right, and then I switch. Um, let me see what's the way to do it. You, you, you can go yeah just with this uh, letter. Okay, so C and A, uh, C and the B switch. So A stay here. C and B switch, and then we switch D and A diagonally. Understand? That's that's the Second view, a second position. Okay, now we we uh, tape it again. Just turn it. Let's see if I do it correctly. Just turn each cards. Let's see. Yeah, just turn each cards. Okay, don't change position. Leave it to, uh, let me see, am I correct? Turn each card. Did yes. you purposely leave D empty? No, uh, you don't have to purposely leave anything empty. The principle is do not touch the edge. So if you try to do a large element that will that must across 
that's that must um, cross uh, quadrants or the you know the, the edge of each view then stop you, you wait for the next step next chance to do it just uh, do anything that could be finished within the usually I start from large to small er, uh, elements so I have uh, uh, priority for this uh, view so I usually okay let me let me uh, show you in the first you don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about filling up all the space so that's why I yeah it could be a, a per, my purpose and I can go back to view one later in the end the in the step, step four right okay now uh, you can see I think I didn't do it correctly am I see hmm. let me see I, I think something is wrong Step three or oh, step two actually should be A B A B C D and then just switch the okay here is A B that's wrong um, hmm. A B C C B didn't do it correctly right so B should be B was the A B I think when I turn the cards, it's, it's very tricky. Let me do it again. It's, it's, it's not what I had before. So maybe I cannot switch the card like that. I have to do something else. It's like a puzzle. Okay, uh, so maybe. A, B, C, D is here, was here. So switch, switch A and a D, switch B and a C. So you can B, B, C, and A, B. Uh, let me just hold two cards so they don't separate like that. Okay, I, I have to turn the two cards together. If I turn sub, uh, individually, I think that changes everything back. So let me let me hold these two cards and turn. I think this would do right. And then I combine these two first. Make sure they are correct. Then I will check again on the front. See if it's correct this time. You can know I'm a... I'm new to this, but uh, it's really, really fascinating, I tell you. <laughs> when I just started, you know, I had a um, dream like doing this. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's how easy it is. And then you turn uh, like this. You have to hold two sections and turn to make sure it's it's correct, and then you, you fix the back. Make, make sure this time the seam line is very tight, very close. Okay, then fix that. All right. Now you have a, um, an empty space here to fill it, and um, uh, for pattern design, usually they switch the the uh, uh, directions. So instead of doing the design this way, we turn it like this, you know, upside down. Uh, so you just do it like this, okay? Turn it upside down and do another uh, another go like this, okay? And then it, are you following me? It doesn't matter um, the directions of the card, but I, I do uh, think that's the bottom. But I, I have this uh, 45 degree slant, like a hang, like a, uh, but the, the uh, you can also switch like a, something else. So just be creative. You don't have to use the reference, but once you, 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 you're familiar with your elements. You can just repeat 
the elements. Um, so I have this, uh, like, a, consider this is each unit is like a, a bouquet. So we start with, uh, we can start with this uh, easy, easy part. Um, yeah, we, we can just do it uh, this way, the same direction. It doesn't matter, just as long as it goes diagonally, you know. Uh, I try not to do parallel to this uh, verticals or horizontals. Just do it uh, um, like that. This way, is just like this way. So, oh, but uh, if I draw this flower uh, next to each other, would that be nice to have it too close? Let me think about that. So. I better, I, I better avoid this this element parallel and next to each other. So that's there's some you know some trick I think we have to think. We can do it here. We can do it here. Just go like that. Yeah, that would be. It's a it's an organic thing. So you 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 must avoid uh, parallels or um, symmetric something too obvious, you, like it's too similar, you, you want to avoid. So I, I just do, I, I vary this. This is almost like a, a slant, uh, like a 45 degree. That, that's good. Okay, then I can go behind this or in front of this, doesn't matter. Um, but in, at first I just Create. We can overlap, I think. Now let's just fill in the space like that. We don't have to. We have a lot of space here. Okay. Yeah, you can see I I. It's kind of hard to maintain the same style. You you tend to change. They're supposed to be similar style. So the best way is to uh, use the the drawing as a template and then use it. Uh, if this is the same size, you know, I if you work on this drawing, like you put it underneath it and just do a different uh, switch the angle or something like that. But you have the template. I try to do it organically. As long as in a similar style, in a uniform style, so you don't want to vary the style within the design. Okay, you make some part really dense and squeeze out the uh, the flower. I can see. I think we can add some dark there. Just to speed up the flower. Okay, now uh, maybe just do the. Oh, I think I better ch use the same brush. This brush is too big. The lavender flower pattern. Just keep it simple. But you also want to make it organic. But not so like a uh, crafts like an embroidery. Yes. You could use you could get inspiration from those designs actually. This fork uh, fork art, yeah. This is basically like a fork art. Okay. And uh, this flower can go all the way up, so I I can wait for another go. Uh, I can do another uh, insect here, and uh, you want to change directions, but I, I noticed this too is like a parallel. I'm not sure if it's good or not, but uh, at least they are not the same. Right? Hand, hand. So let me change the angle of that uh, 
the buck. So it goes to this direction. Okay. Right, so this one is repeating, I think. That's okay. Let's see what let's have that might look like in the end. You can learn from my mistakes. That's why I think uh, it's important to learn from live classes and edit it. <coughs> okay. Um, light first. Oh, maybe to do the side view, not necessary. So you can get it being patient. The bumble marking. And the uh, details on the right. Just keep, uh, have to keep them same size because uh, um, forget about perspective or you know anything. But individually, it could be in side view or front view. Uh, but no, no sense of uh, uh, 3D depths, uh, you know, like a, like a uh, foreshortening that kind of thing. I think I got that, and uh, uh, maybe we can make uh, something more complicated by extending some flowers here. I think we we can do it in the next view. Oh, excuse me, Henry. Um, mm -hmm. Someone put in the chat box say, I wonder why you use blue ink instead of the black ink shape. Oh, the Shimasuri style, the blue and the white porcelain, you know, I have uh, just instantly, I have that, something like this, right? This is Shimasuri porcelain, very, very typical blue and white. Blue and white porcelain, that's, uh, they use the, this on wallpaper or fabric. Um, Blue and white is the classic uh, Chinese uh, design, uh, pattern design theme, or you know, uh, color theme. Yeah. So uh, it's better. It's not draft. I consider it's finished. So just uh, if it's a draft, you can use ink. Um, I already did ink in a handout, and and later I colored it. Uh, I did a color version. With color, so this time I just uh, changed different uh, a, a little vari va variation. In in if you go to uh, any wallpaper design uh, website, uh, uh, you can see a design in different uh, uh, colors color uh, schemes to match different interior uh, needs. So the same same pattern could be birch, could be uh, honey green, uh, you know, like this honey honey color uh, or uh, pink, very classical French room can style, blue room, this is very popular. So if you have a blue room, that's what is for you. If you have a birch uh, preference, you can use that. Or something more earthy like uh, the uh, ochre could also be used. And some nice green uh, kind of uh, olive color, very British. Uh, or, or you know my favorite maybe is the 
later we'll do that too with the, the uh, uh, that kind of green, very uh, jade, what is it called, jade green or, yeah, very, very uh, bright green, light bright green, jade color, color yeah. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Okay, the step three, right? Step, uh, step three. Okay, step four. Step four is a C, C, D, A, B. So you you switch uh, left and right. Okay, switch left and right. Let's take it up. This. Oh, right. Yeah, I just need to. I have to take all the tips off. If I switch top and bottom, you can do that right now. But if you switch left and right, I have to take out this. So this is what I got. Right. Let's switch. Now I switch left and right. Oops, I tear the paper. Okay. <clears throat> Before I do anything, I want to sh show you what. To oh, I already switched. Uh, C D A B. This doesn't look, uh, okay, let me see. I don't see any empty space here. Uh, let's do another combination. So this combination could be um, back and forth. If you go back and forth, it's not necessarily sequential, but you can always uh, go back or go, you know, jump to the next B A C D. So B A C D. B A D C. I'm sorry. B A D C. Yeah, I have the letter. It, it goes um, like this. B A C D C B A D C. That's uh, that give me a little bit different view. What's the next? A B C D again. Okay. Let me, let me fix this and, and then I see if I can do anything. Do you see? So you, you hold two sheets together with your finger before you you uh, tape it, when you tend to tape it. If you flip individually, it might change. I don't know. Yeah, so this one is good. So you have to hold it in turn and then tape it okay then uh, let's see I have to turn the whole thing together like this yeah so to make it to to keep it in position that I want to, to make sure it's seamless Oops, moved. It's 
good to practice patience. Okay, then um, I have a little scene now. Well, I just maybe put some uh, uh, smaller element. Uh, I just I can just do individual flowers. You don't have to, you know, paint the whole group, the the whole bunch of things. You can do just the, uh, but try to vary the element so we can just add those lavenders uh, right here, maybe there. Okay, my brush is too big. I better use the same brush, I think. From small to bigger seeds or flower buds. And you can patternize the angle so they look in a neat uh, just a idea then you can add uh, maybe a little uh, This kind of light flowers, do we have room for that? Oops, blurry. Just the uh, floating, it's fine, I think. Or you can add a stem in the background. It's okay to overlap some part just to make it uh, really dense. And it's good to overlap. You could have more bees there, a lot of bees. Yeah. We want another um, side view, oh this one is side view, try to get uh, a little far from that one. Um, let me turn back to the previous uh, step, is the C. I think this part could, could have more, so this maybe switch top and bottom would do. So you can theoretically you can switch any time uh, back and the top and the uh, left and the right, except the diagonal one you can do it only once in the first at first. Then uh, any time you can switch top and the bottom. I think that's the general idea. Let's see. I just did this one, and then now you can switch this. Mm. 
Yeah, that one, I, I, it was my previous step on the handout, I think. <coughs> Let me just go back to this. It's the C, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. D D C B A D C B A. Anyway, so I'm I'm looking at the DCBA um, it should be more uh, views possible right let's see okay now you can fill in this space a little bit more there in this corner. Let me just oops. Let me just draw another branch like that. Oh, this one is. A little bit too long. And I can just make it too. Just like painting, I just kind of go with the so The purpose is to fill up the other space. some more freestyle flowers. I uh, try to stay with my pattern of this uh, little element like that and this one is a little bit as a mistake that uh, could be interesting so I just leave it it doesn't matter in the pattern it's the the forest you know the wholeness is more important than individual individual um, element you don't want to add no element uh, stand out too much, right? So it's just uh, filling this element. All right, let's see. Uh, let's pretty fill up. Now let's go back to the original combination, the A B C D. And then I will do a uh, let's see if I have time. Yeah, uh, I'll do a quick uh, scan and then uh, patch it. Uh, without computer, you, uh, you let me see. You, you can you can use tracing paper to duplicate the design multiple times, or you can use a copier, a fax machine to make multiple copies. And then you, you put them, uh, you repeat it to in uh, four by four or six, uh, three by three to see what it looked like on the, uh, on the wallpaper. So let's just uh, do this. 
ABCD. So you, you should have a simness. Oops. C D. Simness. Pattern now. And it, uh, this time I must uh, do a good job on the uh, taping to make it uh, seamless, uh, as seamless as possible before I uh, take a picture. You can use a phone um, to enter into the computer. I, I, I have a scanner, but the scanner, let's see, yeah, I, can, I think I can scan it. To, to be easier. Let me see. Let me just do this. One tip. This this index card really <laughs> helped to have a straight cut right, at least. Oh excuse me Henry. Um the same participant has a um question in the chat but I'm looking at the color uh, I don't know how to pronounce the uh, C H I N O I S E R I. Oh, sure. Where is it really Pattern right? design. Yeah. Uh, the middle flower on the right doesn't have a branch connecting to it. How should I connect the flower? Uh, how should I connect the flower to a stem? S T E M. Stem. Okay. Yeah, in the chat box, you you can look at Where, the chat box. Yeah, yeah. I have a branch connecting to. I'm looking at the color. To, Pattern design. Oh, 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 I see. This one? This one? The, are you talking about the, the color, the design, the middle flower? Is that this on, one? On the I right? think the participant cannot unmute themselves right now. So, no. um, how, uh, if, how should uh, I Henry hasn't answered your question, you can put it in the chat box for follow up. I think okay. they should be able to unmute themselves right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can, I wasn't sure before I can. You, maybe yes, you, it's the flower. There are three flowers on the right side of the stem. Uh -huh. The middle flower. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, the middle. I see. I don't know how I connect the you middle don't have flower to, con to it, it, You don't have to connect. It's a pattern. So uh, it's, uh, uh, it's supposed to be a back view, but uh, uh, you, you just don't have to connect. You just It just let it flow there. It, it, yeah, it, it, that's a very good question. Um, so in, in normal situation, we'll try to give every flower a uh, stem, right? But uh, uh, in this case, you don't have to, you, you... Yeah, it looks like a floating flower in the air. Right, the, this is also a floating flower. It's just a, a pattern, you know, we kind of, uh, uh, we don't have to, to follow the gravity rule or the scientific rule, but only in the design rule. If we need uh, something there, we can put the, or we can overlap them. Uh, the, the basic idea is uh, to uh, create a 2D world, not a 2D pattern, not a, a 3D picture. Okay, so you don't have to um, have that stand. You, you know, it will be ugly if you do the flower in the back of you, you know, so I, I still want you to have the center facing the, the viewer. So uh, logically, we cannot solve this uh, problem. So we just leave it out. If there's dot, leave it out. That's the same in uh, the fine art word, also design word, maybe. So just leave it out if we have dot, yeah. And let let people to uh, to solve it. Let let me, let the viewer. Another to, question. Yeah. You just mentioned what's the difference between a two D image and a three D? Is chinois a two D yes, style? Yes. More more of a two D style. It's a pattern. Uh, it, it 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 has some overlapping to show yin and yang. You know, you could have some light and a, a dark, some overlapping. That's all. You don't have any perspective like uh, the plan of uh, a road. Uh, in landscape, they, they might be, but uh, still you can stack in, um, just like we, how we deal with uh, uh, landscape in Chinese painting, uh, you can move your eye level as you go. Yeah, it's like uh, you, can, you can, this pattern will continue in all four directions. So it's a flat, there's no depth. That, that's, what, that's what I mean by 
2D dim. It's only um, it has the the uh, width and the height, but no depths, no depths. Okay, you cannot go in, right? N not illusions, uh, elusive like uh, uh, a perspective that has the you know um, the uh, illusion of uh, a, a, a perspective like uh, you can walk in. No, it's it's a it's a surface design. Only texture more important. Two dimensional uh, means uh, anything is two dimensional. But uh, uh, in fine art, we try to create the illusion of a three D experience on a two D surface. In Shinovazuri painting, we are only considered uh, the decorative principles, not to recreate reality. But we tell a story by... Uh, story is very important. Here we tell the story of uh, saving the earth uh, uh, or, you know, to protect uh, bee population to for our food source, that kind of uh, story. So. So we we create this scene based on these ideas, not the visual experience of uh, a lavender field, like I did in my other painting. I I was doing this field study, and uh, you can see I I did this uh, more like this. Yeah, you know, more. This is the perspective. Look at uh, this uh, this this painting on my, uh, my on my screen here. Uh, this is the what's the flower? I forgot uh, the pride of uh, uh, what? Uh, you can see the perspective that changes uh, from uh, you know like foreshortened view. The same flower was uh, getting smaller in the back. So you you can you can see the perspective here, right? This is three D. You get it? This painting. It's a good example of a 3D perspective. It's like a, because I painted from a picture um, I, I took um, on, on my uh, cell phone. So it's a, it's a camera view. Although uh, I, I flattened it, I, I added the bees, I, I used the golden color, I flattened the background, and I used golden color for the sky. To, it's a, it's an anniversary a little bit, you know, to flatten it, but to still, uh, I I did only a silhouette of the back flowers, not the the roundness of the um, the flower heads. So, uh, but still you can see the perspective. This is not a two D two uh, D design. In two D design, well, well, I I can do a two D design just based on the uh, the silhouette and uh, we'll keep it in the same size. That's extremely important. Keep all the flowers in the same size. It, it could be proportional to each other. You know, different flowers when they're uh, on the same panel has to follow some like this, some proportional rules. But basically, yeah, it's a flat. It's it's basically two D dimension. is a flat design. It's two. Yeah, that's that's what I mean by two D design. Okay. Now I'm going to scan it. Um, and to enter the computer and uh, maybe I can share my my Photoshop to show you the result. Um, otherwise, how can I? Sh if I put a, a tracing paper, I I I kind of trace this pattern and duplicate it and patch patch it on a larger piece of paper, you'll get the you 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 have it will become a uh, repeated pattern. You know the wallpaper look right. Or the tablecloth or fabric, that kind of thing. So let me just scan it. Give me a few minutes. Okay, uh, incidentally, I, I have a tip to share with those professionals. Uh, I, you have to get a color correction uh, pa uh, watch, uh, what do you call this, uh, Pantone color checker. 
uh, so you can correct the colors easily for printing purpose. So I think I, I'll do this to correct the colors because the scanner is not uh, best uh, in coloring. Uh, it's the quickest way to do. Let me see. Uh, let me close all this windows so I can share with you the result. Let me just Okay, I'm gonna scan this. Um, let me see if I can share this window here. You can see my window here. Okay. Oh, uh, are you looking at? Uh, okay, you can looking at. You, you're looking at my window, right? Okay. Now I'm going to scan this. Um, scanner. Two three. Okay. Start. Oh, Harry, is that your Photoshop uh, yeah. application? Yeah. Can you see it? Uh, I see uh, another uh, picture there, but uh, it's uh, not. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, hold on. Let me Let's see. Okay, I, I will fix that. To whatever. Let me just do this scan first. Uh, the whole scan... You, yeah, you're looking at the black and white picture because the picture is not imported yet. Okay, yeah, now I see the picture that uh, oh, okay, you're yeah. scanning. Uh, Thank I, you. Yeah, I didn't get this, the, the, <laughs> I didn't get the grays I, I need. Let me just do it again. I, I have to do another one. I didn't get the color checker completely covered. My scanner, import, okay, import again. Okay, um, preview. Let me get that. I just need to this black and white. So. I think it's it's pretty good. Maybe I can do it without the color uh, correction. Let me see uh, if I can do this. So I just uh, need to correct the color first. Just do that. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. I think. I have to check one thing. So let me let me just uh, trim it uh, so we will have the. I should have erased the ABCD, but I want to <laughs> want you to to uh, uh, keep to to show you anyway. So I'll trim off the extra margin. Let's see, it should be there. Crop. Okay, I define this as a pattern. Oh, uh, excuse me, Henry. There's a question. What is the name of the multicolor box that is placed on the lower right-hand corner of the uh, panel? Pen pen how uh, does it work to correct the colors? Yeah, it's called co co color checker. Classic. Uh, um, it's a Pantone color checker. And the name of this is called color checker. Uh, the brand is X Right. X dash Right. X, X, uh, X right. It's just X right photo dot com. That's the website I I bought from Amazon. X right photo. 
uh, com the, is the, the, the website. Uh, this product is called the Color Checker. Oh, uh, just let you know, it's very, very expensive. It's like $35 for this because this color has to be so uh, accurate. And you have to put it in a, in a dark box all the time without uh, exposed to sun. Otherwise, your fade will not work. Okay. And so it gives you the true gray. That's all I need. So I, when I uh, when I when I pick that color, it, everything it should be correct. A, a professional printer, you know, when I produce those calendars, I I used it this uh, for that color correction. It makes things uh, much easier. The experience, you know, it is more more scientific, more <laughs> accurate. It's, uh, definitive then but it's still you know it, it's not artistic so you, you can adjust it based on your and I can you know easily um, clean up this uh, this same lines but I want to give you a quick view so the the the, the way I without using computer pattern you can do it to the, the uh, very uh, you know just like a hand uh, uh, like uh, the old-fashioned way in, in real life what do you can you know what I do I just duplicate this uh, and then put, paste it into a larger uh, canvas so oops my computer just frozen I think I got a limited CPU on this or something uh, I'm still online there because my computer is yes. frozen. Uh, my computer just frozen on me uh, let me see if I can close this few programs. My mouse is frozen, so I cannot move. Um, I have to maybe come back after like a reboot. Uh, it just oh, it's working. I don't see. Oh, okay, I see. Good. Okay, I'm I'm good. I think I just moved too fast or something. Canvas size. I'm going to do. So this is a six inch. By 10 so let's increase uh, three times so it's 18 inch 18 inch and uh, 30 inch so that, that will be the size of my new canvas by right, background color okay that, okay maybe not big enough uh, that's that should be okay so let's let's say we just duplicate this uh, let me just select this. Oops. I just do a square select. So we select this pattern and uh, I'll make another layer. Um, it's probably. Okay, let me just do the primitive way. There's a, I, I know there, there are many ways to do this, but uh, I just do it one by one, like like by hand. You can you just patch it by hand. You cop you copy it and you patch it. You copy it, you patch it. Just like you you can make a multiple copies from your your uh, Xerox machine, uh, and then just uh, and then patch it like that. I know the same line is not. Uh, uh, if you if you uh, finish it to digitalize it, you, you have to do uh, some uh, clean up work, and then you can upload to a website like uh, uh, spoonflower.com and create a wallpaper um, or um, uh, fabric. Or Ray, could you repeat that website? Uh, spoon, have you spelled the name of spoon, that website? Spoonflower. Spoon flower, yeah. S P P O S O O N spoon S P O O N spoon flower. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah, it, can you okay. double check? Just yeah, uh, it's a uh, it's a website. You you can upload your pattern, but you have to clean up the pattern. It takes a little. Uh, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube telling people how to do this. You know, basically, I can just copy the first rule. I don't have to do this. So you understand, right? I'm doing. So I just uh, uh, let me just copy the first rule. So uh, then I just duplicate this three, 
Uh, so it goes up like that. And it goes down. And you can see. Okay. Now let me shoot a little bit. So this is my student was very wallpaper, <laughs> roughly. Okay. Um, yeah. If if you if you need to upload to the, you have to. I, I have to clean up really clean up the the um, the, the seam lines and then the edges. Uh, there you know, there are many computer tutorials t uh, showing people how to how to create uh, patterns in, in the uh, Photoshop. And they, they, they are very smart. I mean, this program actually is much smarter now than before. I used to uh, use, for, you know, when in, the, er, er, in the mid 90s, I used to use uh, Photoshop and the Painter to create a background for websites. That's how I learned pattern design. Okay. Hey, uh, my program is. What's the question? Any, anybody? Uh, spoke um, on, so Henry, yeah. it, well, up in New York, that means the class actually have been going on for one and a half hour already. Okay. Um, we probably should be closing up yeah. for now. Okay. Uh, we can continue on this style of interesting uh, painting in the sessions of the Wednesday sessions, starting mm -hmm. from May 4th, 2.30 Eastern Time. That's 11.30 in the West Coast, and the registration is open right now. Anyone who is already registered for today's class will be invited to attend the new series, um, new people, are welcome to register. You only need to register once, and then I would be able to, to send everything to, to you by now. So thank you so much. Uh, we do not have time today to look at everyone's uh, painting, as this is a Saturday, and uh, mm -hmm. I probably need to do something else. Mm -hmm. uh, so with the topic <laughs> on the info desk, mm -hmm. we have lesser staff uh, oh, for Saturday. Oh, Uni, there's a question in the chat box. Yeah. There's a one last question in the chat box. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The pos it's possibly. I. I. You can see the color version of this. So you can follow the handout uh, for the color version if you want to color it. Um, yes. Yeah. You can use color. As uh, Henry explained before, the typical Chinua Suri paintings were um, certain kind of yeah. blue, certain kind of red, certain kind of green. You could see in yes. fabric design and the China wear. Uh, before, but you could also do all sorts of colors. Yeah. Uh, Henry did not have time to show all colors today. It's only a one and a half hour class today. Uh -huh. um, but you could explore, and we will continue uh, yeah. for the Wednesday classes so to explore various other topics and the uh, patterns and the colors mm -hmm. um, in May and uh, June. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, everyone, for participating in this special class. We will see each other um, later. And uh, the Fusion Water class, Watercolor class continues on Tuesday, finishing on May 3rd. Okay. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank you, thank you Sherry. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, Yongli and Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. See you next okay. uh, class. Bye-bye. We'll bye. see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye now.